Aptera Motors continues to captivate the EV market with its unique solar-powered vehicles. In a recent update, Tim Vaughn, a key figure at Aptera, provided an in-depth look at the company's battery pack validation process and the innovative elements of their battery modules. Today we delve into the feasibility of these advancements as Aptera ramps up towards final production. By scrutinizing the technical details and progress in the context of the company's overall timeline and previous updates, we can better understand the potential and challenges Aptera faces on its journey to mass production. Let's get started. Before we get into this, if you're enjoying our briefings on this channel, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel and turn on the bell notification to be notified of any recent video. Thank you. Aptera's battery module is a sophisticated assembly comprising battery cells, current collectors, and a circuit board integrated with the battery management system, BMS. The company employs 21,700 cylindrical cells, which utilize nickel-manganese cobalt NMC chemistry. NMC is known for its high energy density, making it a suitable choice for electric vehicles. Each module contains 384 cells, offering 7.3 kilowatt hours of energy. For the launch edition vehicles, six such modules combine to form a 44 kilowatt hours battery pack. This design choice is strategic. The 21,700 cells are widely used in the industry, ensuring a balance between energy density, thermal management, and availability. However, the challenge lies in the assembly and integration of these cells into a reliable and efficient battery module. After his approach to managing this through laser welding, wire bonding, and ribbon bonding is particularly noteworthy for its flexibility, which can mitigate supply chain risks by accommodating cells from multiple suppliers. Validation Testing and Results Aptera's battery module has undergone rigorous validation, including aggressive vibration and shock testing, over a three-day period at NQO Testing Laboratory. This accelerated lifetime testing simulated 100,000 miles of vehicle use. The results were promising. No mechanical failures occurred, and all electrical performance metrics remained unchanged. Further microscopic inspection revealed no damage or signs of wear, and thorough electrical testing post-mechanical testing confirmed no capacity reduction or other electrical failures. Additionally, early tests indicated that the modules could charge at rates exceeding 400 miles per hour. These results are encouraging, demonstrating that Aptera's battery modules are both robust and reliable under strenuous conditions. The ability to charge at high rates is particularly significant as it addresses a common consumer concern regarding EV charging times. However, the real test will be in consistent real-world conditions where variables are less controllable than in laboratory settings. Production Feasibility Aptera's update suggests that the company is full speed ahead in building modules for their PI, production intent, vehicles. The transition from prototype validation to mass production is a critical and often challenging phase for EV startups. Here are some key points of consideration. 1. Supply chain and manufacturing. Flexibility in cell connection. Aptera's flexible module design allows for different cell connection methods and suppliers, which is a significant advantage in mitigating supply chain disruptions. This flexibility is crucial given the volatility in the global supply chain, particularly for battery components. Prototype to production transition. The prototype module is already being integrated into early PI builds. However, scaling this from a few prototypes to thousands of production units involves complex logistics, quality control, and supply chain management. 2. Thermal management. The use of an aluminum frame and cooling plate slash heat exchanger is designed to maintain optimal battery temperatures, crucial for both performance and safety. Effective thermal management is essential, especially as Aptera vehicles are intended to operate in a variety of climates, leveraging solar power. 3. Battery Management System, BMS The module interface board, MIB, serves as a critical link between high-voltage modules and the vehicle's BMS. 
This integration is vital for ensuring efficient and safe operation of the battery system. The sophistication of the BNS will play a significant role in the overall performance and reliability of Aptera vehicles. In previous updates, Aptera has emphasized their innovative approach and the unique solar integration of their vehicles. The current focus on battery validation is a natural progression, showcasing the company's efforts to ensure that the core energy storage system is robust and reliable. The shift from broader conceptual innovations to specific technical validations indicates a maturing of their development process. Challenges and Risks Despite the positive outcomes of the validation tests, several challenges and risks could impact Aptera's journey to final production. 1. Scaling Production Moving from small-scale prototype builds to mass production involves significant challenges. Ensuring consistency and quality, managing a larger workforce, and dealing with supply chain logistics are all potential hurdles. 2. Market Readiness Aptera must ensure that their vehicles meet all regulatory requirements and consumer expectations. This involves extensive real-world testing and potential iterations based on feedback. 3. Financial Stability As highlighted in previous discussions about Aptera's funding strategy, securing adequate capital to sustain and scale production is crucial. Delays or unexpected costs could strain financial resources. 4. Technological Integration the integration of the MIB with the vehicle's overall electronic and mechanical systems must be seamless. Any issues here could lead to significant setbacks. After his latest update on battery validation is a crucial step forward, reinforcing their readiness to transition to production. The detailed attention to battery module design, coupled with successful validation tests, underscores their commitment to quality and reliability. However, the road to mass production is fraught with challenges that require meticulous planning and execution. In conclusion, Aptera's recent update on battery validation demonstrates significant progress in their journey towards mass production. The robust design of their battery modules, successful validation tests, and strategic flexibility in supply chain management position them well. However, the real test lies in scaling production, managing supply chain complexities, and ensuring financial stability. After his ability to navigate these challenges will determine their success in bringing their innovative solar-powered vehicles to market. As Aptera fans and stakeholders, it is crucial to remain cautiously optimistic. The company's innovative approach and recent advancements are promising, but the transition to mass production is a critical phase that requires sustained effort, strategic planning, and adaptability. The coming months will be pivotal in Aptera's journey, and continued support and engagement from the community will be essential in driving towards a sustainable and successful future for solar mobility. Stay tuned for more updates on Aptera's progress and join the conversation about the future of solar mobility. Let's drive towards a cleaner, more sustainable future together. If you enjoyed today's content, then give us a like, subscribe, and ensure the bell notification is on to be notified of our recent content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.